Hey, it's me, and I'm doing a tribute to my favorite show right now, which is Naked and Afraid XL. As a tribute to the show, I'm gonna, um, gonna go in the woods, and I'm gonna survive for 40 minutes. We'll title this, Clothed and Calm, Extra Small. I got my GoPro too, so I can get like really good angle on all this stuff too. So let's do this. A survival expert with decades of experience teaching wilderness survival has assessed Tifsa, giving him a PSR or Primitive Survival Rating. Tifsa's experience with wild animals as a middle school teacher gives him stars in heaven, but no actual survival skills. He scores in the novice range at 0.2. All right, now I need to find my way through the jungles of Wisconsin to where I have my survival items. Would you look at that? There they are. So for my survival items, I have a grill. So I'm gonna need to start a fire. There's my shovel and a backpack. Oh, I got a chair too so I can relax. This is nice. Let me check the time. See how long I've been surviving. It's 4.11. Okay, I gotta survive till 4.51. Ooh, look, I, I still get a little bit of Wi-Fi out here. Nice! All right, in my backpack, I got a bottle. So I wanted to challenge myself. Let's go see if I can find some water. Let's do it. Tifsa is stuck in a patch of Wisconsin woodlands between Kitty Canyon and Cowtown. You will have to survive in the extreme 80 degree heat with at least 60% humidity making it feel like it's about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. There's a clearing over there. An opening. Oh, water! Yeah, it looks alright. I'm thinking I might have to purify it. Hmm. All right, let's go back to camp. I found camp. It was a rough trek, but. There it is. I promised myself I'd try and find um, something to eat out here. So let's let's get the shovel. Yeah. Maybe I can dig and find some worms. It's hard to hold the camera and dig. Yeah. Yes. Let's see, what do we got here? Sour gummy worms. That, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I could eat them. You gotta do what you gotta do in a survival situation. All right, let's eat these worms. Okay, here we go. Uh, no, no. <laughs> no. Mm, kinda gritty and sour. Still kind of sour. I hope they're not poisonous. Now I'm gonna try and start a fire because starting fire is tough. Oh man, it's not working. Ugh, maybe, okay, let's turn these on. Nope. Oh yeah, gotta open this. There, that might help. Let's see. Aha! <laughs> Yeah, fire! Yeah, fire! Here's the water I got, and I don't think I should heat this because heating plastic's very dangerous, so I'm just gonna drink it. I know it's not the clearest stuff, but I'm dehydrated. I gotta, you know, you gotta make decisions out here. I know it's not necessarily safe, but you know, when you're thirsty, you're thirsty. Here we go. I hope I don't get sick later. I'm gonna check on that fire. See if I got anything I can put on the grill. We'll check the bag. Maybe there's something in my bag. Oh, zucchini. That's good. Another zucchini. Little bit of olive oil. That helps. Lowry seasoning salt. Okay. It's, I don't know if that's good protein. I know it's healthy stuff, but. <gasps> and some bratwurst. Win! Oh. Ah, yeah. 
Well, that's good. I don't have to flip stuff with my hands. Oh, a map of Chicago. That might come in handy. Oh, yes. The ultimate survival tool. You got a knife. That always is helpful. I forgot to mention, check it out. Ooh, new cover. Doesn't it look nice? I think it's beautiful. Gotta have something to read in survival situations. Now remember kids, survival in the wild seems like it's all fun and games, but when you're cooking meat, it has to reach an internal temperature of 165 degrees. Otherwise, it might be contaminated. So grill your meat, it. Well, it's almost time for the extraction. I'm a little scared about it. It's gonna be a rough journey. Um, I only I only have five minutes left, so hopefully the zucchini will be done so I can leave on time. What do you think? That looks pretty good. So here we go. It's time for extraction. Oh, I hope I don't drop the food. Everyone's gonna get mad if I drop it. From the woods, Tifsa will have to make a difficult trek of about 100 feet to his back deck. I gotta go all the way there, from here. That, that's, that's my extraction. Wish me luck! Oh, this is rough. Watch out for that big rock. <sighs> Yes, I did it. Teepsa's ability to drag his grill into the woods of his backyard proved an excellent decision. He was able to cook dinner for his family, which made them very happy. He didn't really drink pond water either. That was a lame joke by him. Therefore, his PSR stays the same at 0.2. Either way, he proved he has what it takes to survive on clothed and calm extra small. Whew, I tell you, clothed and calm, 40 minutes extra small, we did this.